At the dawn of time, our ancestors lived in a world of danger. When they were attacked by cave bears, it was a bad idea to stay calm. So whenever they saw danger, their brains sounded a stress alarm that put their bodies into action. This ability to feel stress got passed down to us in the modern age. The problem is that our brains can't tell the difference between a physical danger and a social or emotional danger so they all stress us out in the same way. So today, although bear attacks are less common, stress is a much larger part of our lives. In 2018, a Gallup poll found that 55% of Americans felt stressed during a lot of the day, while 45% felt worried a lot. Compared with 0.000004% of Americans attacked by bears while visiting Yellowstone Park. Stress can still be helpful when it helps us take on challenges, provided that we get some rest afterwards. But when stress lasts for a long time, without giving us a chance to rest, it can do serious damage to our bodies. It can increase our risk for diabetes, or make our current diabetes worse. To see why, we have to ask, how does stress work? When the brain senses danger, it releases stress hormones that get the body ready for action. Blood sugar rises to give the body extra fuel. This gives us a burst of energy that ends when the danger goes away. But when stress lasts for a long time, and the body isn't given a chance to rest, the brain stays in a constant state of alarm, so it keeps producing stress hormones that keep raising blood sugar, which is great for a short burst of energy. But constantly high blood sugar is toxic, and leads to diabetes symptoms. Stress also increases insulin resistance, which makes our bodies less able to reduce blood sugar. And to top it all off, stress might encourage us to try to relax with unhealthy habits like smoking, eating high-calorie foods, or isolating ourselves, which worsen diabetes and make us even more stressed in the long run. So what can you do? Although we might not be able to control the amount of stressful things in our lives, we can control how we respond to them. You can try to better understand the sources of your stress. You can practice mindfulness to recognize when you're feeling stressed. Then you can try methods of reducing stress, like exercise, a healthy diet, getting enough sleep, hanging out with friends or family, or even just taking a break. So relax, it's one of the healthiest things you can do for yourself.